This is Mayor Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes from our City Council meeting on June the 16th, 2020. As many of you recognize, we uh, had a Zoom meeting on Tuesday night out of abundance of caution, and that's why I'm also meeting with you today and, and uh, filming this video from Zoom. We are still not out of the woods yet, and I encourage everybody in our community to still be very cognizant and aware of the danger that lurks out there with the COVID-19 virus and be very careful how you go about your daily lives. During the Committee of the Whole, we had a um, presentation on our annual citizen survey. This is the 34th year that the City of Auburn has um, participated in a citizen survey, and I want to thank everybody in our community for taking the time to fill that information out. Um, all the information, if you want to go back and look at it, is now available on our website at auburnalabama.org slash survey. You can see the full presentation of the survey, all of the slides and documents, and the same video that the City Council watched the other night. We know we've got work to do. Um, certainly you communicated to us that, that traffic flow is something you're very concerned about. And so as we move forward, we will take the information that you gave us and we'll utilize it to build a budget, which we'll be doing here in the next 60 days. That will be a biannual budget. And <clears throat> it's critical that we have this information from you to build that biannual budget. Many times I have said that Auburn's a, a great place to live, but it's certainly not a perfect place to live. And we certainly know that we've got things that we can continue to improve on from the city level. And we know that traffic flow is certainly one of those. We also know that you told us clearly that you were happy with our public safety department and you're very pleased with the school system and the quality of life. And you also told us that for your tax dollars that you invest in the city, that you feel like you're getting great value. So we'll continue to work hard for you. We'll also continue to listen to you and we'll try to make Auburn even better than it is. If you have any questions about the citizen survey as you read through that information, don't hesitate to reach out to me or your city council rep, and we'll be happy to answer those questions. As we got into the agenda on Tuesday night, we had a couple of board announcements. One is for the Board of Zoning Adjustments, which is a supernumerary position that will begin immediately and expire in January, and expire in January of 2023. And then we have a Green Space Advisory Board position. I want to thank Alice Buchanan, who has served two full terms on the Green Space Advisory Board. Thank you, Alice, for your service and your dedication to Auburn. But this position will be taking Alice's place. It'll begin on August the 8th of this year, and it will end in August of 2024. The City Council will be making these appointments at the second meeting in July, which is July the 21st. So if you're interested, as I always say, please go to the city's website, read about these boards, see if that's a great fit for you, see if you have a real curiosity and interest in what these boards do, and then fill the application out and let your city council rep know that you're interested in serving the city of Auburn, and we'll consider your application. Under the consent agenda, the city council approved a contract with Hudman Construction Company for $1.1 million for an Ogletree Road culvert replacement project. We received a grant from ALDOT for $250,000 for this, so we will not have to, to pay the full uh, amount of this. But it is a project that has to be done now. It could create further damage to that community out there and further problems and be a more expensive fix for us in the future. So we went ahead and bid this out, and Hudman Construction Company had the lowest bid. We approved an alcohol beverage license for the Country Club of Auburn. This is a restaurant that we improved its conditional use last month. It's located in the former Locos building on South College Street. It'll have a small golf course, putting green next to the restaurant, uh, and will be an entertainment and eatery type of uh, opportunity for all of us. We look forward to them getting open, but we did approve their alcohol and beverage license. Under ordinances, we approved some traffic control measures for the preserve subdivision phases 4B and 6A. There were three stop signs and one 25 mile per hour sign that the council approved. As we got into resolutions, we approved an extension of a conditional use for Alabama Power Company for their, um, their electric substation, excuse me, at 111 North Dean Road. Um, they needed six more extra months to complete the construction of this, and the council extended that to them unanimously. We also approved a use with Holt Property Assets. This is located at 550 Martin Luther King Drive. This was a road services use that will be used as a parking lot and a mobile vendor food court. Um, Mr. Mathen Holt has been using this parking lot, particularly on football game Saturdays, to park cars, or he has brought his uh, the people who park with his RV um, lot on 
down on Martin Luther King Drive. He has brought them up to campus and dropped them off and picked them up right there. It's just a large grass lot that was formed with the uh, adaptation of Highway 14 and Donahue Drive a few years ago. He wants to create 125 permanent parking spaces and make it available for food trucks to park there. There'll also be a bathroom amenity that'll be added to that uh, for, the food, for the food truck purpose. But I believe, and I think the council believes that this will be a great use for that area. It will really formalize that piece of property right there. The church that's nearby will be able to use this property on Sundays to park overflow cars. And we believe that it'll be a great asset to our community and to that neighborhood. And finally, the council approved a multiple family unit development at 1397 North Dean Road with the RPM Land Development Company. This will be 250 units of market rate apartments. And that really closed out um, our city council meeting the other night. We certainly hope that we'll be moving into our new chambers in the very near future. I want to once again uh, recognize SIO2 for their expansion and their announcement that we had last week here in our community. We're very proud of the grant that they received from our federal government. And it's exciting for the 200 jobs that they'll be hiring um, for that plant here locally. And we're excited that they will be a part of the plan to solve the COVID-19 um, virus in, our, in the whole world. And that will come right here in Auburn. So it's something we're very proud of. This is Ron Anders with the Mayor's Minutes. Have a great week and happy Father's Day.